Today, my kids asked me if they could get a snack. So we went to the store and I said yes. And they picked the worst snacks ever. Um, my oldest picked the Sour Patch Kids and the youngest picked Cheetos or something like that. So I asked and I thought to myself, why do I let them pick these things? It's garbage. It's, it doesn't do anything good for our bodies. Those things are completely awful for our guts, for our immune system, for everything. So why do I let my kids eat that? So a little backstory. I, a long time ago, when they were much smaller, they are older now, I was very strict. I was very strict with myself. I was very strict with them. I wouldn't let them eat pretty much anything unless I made it, unless it was very clean ingredients. And I saw that every time they would be at the party or something, they would binge eat. And that wasn't good either. So slowly with time and with the years passing, I realized that restriction is not good. And that's why diets don't work. Because when you restrict yourself, you're gonna binge eat at some point after, and it doesn't work. So I stopped restricting my kids. Naturally, what happened was that as soon as I said, yes, you can have that, they <laughs> binge eat on everything. I would get cookies and they would eat like 10 cookies at once and I was terrified and afraid I was like what what's what's going on what if I'm doing something wrong and then I I sat with it and I let it happen and now the magic thing is is that my kids maybe barely eat one cookie and they are much more balanced now so I see them and even today they got those things and they are slowly eating it. They don't eat it all at once like they used to. And I made a deal with them. I said, okay, what if you eat this, but also drink a smoothie? And I know it's not going to undo the damage it's going to do, but what it's going to do and what I want it to do is that they become healthy adults that later on in life when they live on their own when they are able to make choices on their own that they can see the balance because i've seen many many kids and i've seen many stories of moms that in when they are in the house they eat very healthy and the moms restrict a lot and as soon as they are on their own 18 even later and they have the choice to eat whatever they want they eat and they eat until they can't no more and they become obese and they become all these problems that they don't know what to do with it and it's very hard after all of that to get the balance back so it is very important for us moms to establish that balance now when they are little and that starts with not restricting of course unless your kids have allergies that's a whole nother issue but if your kids don't have allergies i would encourage you to let them pick to have a balance not to restrict them i see it on myself and people see it in adults all the time like when you go on a diet and all of a sudden you get tired you go binge eat and you gain all the weight back, back so please don't restrict your kids try to teach them lead by example lead by example lead by example i i lead my kids and I, I eat very healthy i spend a lot of money i am very holistic and i teach them but i also see the importance of having the balance of okay i need to lead by by example and i need to teach them and try to feed them good food which i do but I also want them to be in the real world. And unfortunately, in our real world, we have a lot of junk food and we need to be able to teach our kids and even ourselves. I don't restrict myself. When I feel like I want something, I usually try to please myself and, and let myself eat it and my kids see it. And that's part of the balance. 
And I hope you guys know that it's okay. And we need to be, we need to be in balance. We need to be in peace with the food, whatever we eat. It's okay. I hope it's mostly good, but when it's not, then we need to be in peace with it. Have a wonderful day.